Okay, tell us how we prepare to get the ants out of them because each mushroom is a little ant habitat, isn't it? Well, or little tiny mites. Yeah. Um, more so those than ants. But we, we're going to fill this back with water. So just make sure it's cold water. Put, put them in there. For, and you don't need to soak them very long. Maybe just an hour, hour and a half just to, with some salt to get the bugs to leave. You know? It does. It plumps them back up and it makes them taste so much better. And if they're a little bit dry and kind of dehydrated looking, it makes them perfect again. All right, well, we'll get back with you on the next step. It's a roly poly. Okay, guys, it's been about two and a half hours we've had them soaking, and uh, a few more bugs have come to the top, and then these little bitty bugs. I'm not really sure what they are. I. I, I my camera could focus here, but they're really tiny and they uh, you can't really see them, but they kind of group together in the water. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, drain the water off and do several rinses just with uh, clean cold water. And then I'll show you how we store them. All right, we're going to rinse them again with some cold water. Got to be gentle with them though. Now, we're not cutting these in two yet. This is just the way that we're going to store them. So we've got most, all the big bugs and the little bugs out of there. We don't have everything perfectly clean. And so this is the uh, first stage of how we store them. We get most of the standing water off. And then we put them in a bowl. And as soon as I get all these in the bowl, then I'll show you what we do next. All right, guys, so I got most of the water off of them, and we're just going to uh, store them moist. And when you're handling them, you'll notice that some are more firmer than others, so that your most firm ones, which are generally your most uh, fresh ones, put those on the bottom, and then your softer ones put on top so you can eat those first. You'll know which ones they are. You can just tell by the feel. And um, so there's no, no water in the bowl. These are just moist from the water that we soaked them in. We take a wet paper towel and we put it over the top like so. And that's how we store them in the refrigerator and they'll stay about a week this way. What you want to do is when they're in the refrigerator ever you know like once a day make sure that this paper towel is moist and if it's not just re-wet the paper towel and oddly enough that keeps them for a long time so we're going to put those in the refrigerator now. When we get ready to eat them then we'll slice them in two do a thorough cleaning on them then we'll show you what to do after that. So stay tuned. Carla is going to show us how to uh, clean the mushrooms. Been storing them in the refrigerator with that wet paper towel over them, and so. Uh, so first, we're picking through and we're finding the fresher ones to eat later. So we're eating the the softer ones yeah. first. So what I do is I cut them lengthwise. If there's any soft spots, sometimes I'll take those out. But even if they're a little discolored, they're still okay. And then I just rinse them with cold water. And keep going. I'm saving some of these for my sister. <laughs> Her sister is a lucky girl to I get know. some mushrooms. So I just check to make sure there's no bugs or dirt left on them. 
you don't have to cut the ends off, and like, ends off like I do, but sometimes I do because sometimes there's a little dirt on the end. Those are pretty good size. Yeah. That fell off and it's fine. We don't care if there's a little bit of weight. Not too much though. So, uh... I like well, gold. Yeah. <laughs> so you just, uh, rinse them off and pick them out if you got any dirt in there. Look, that's that folded up one. <laughs> Let's see. I think it's all wadded up. Oh yeah. I remember that one. I think he had dirt growing on him. I had to pick the dirt off the grass. And that's a fresher one, so we'll leave them over there. Okay, so we're just splitting them and rinsing them. That guy and, was a little far gone. <laughs> and we're just making sure that there's all the ants are out and the dirt's out and splitting them long ways. Be sure you look in the pores good. But they're pretty clean just from soaking them whole. Yeah. But so. always remember to split them in half, like we said before, because if not, you might get a mouth, mouthful of ants one of these nights. Yeah, we don't want a mouthful of ants. No, yeah, I'd ruin the whole thing. Okay. All right, then uh, we'll get back with you when we show you how to cook them. I haven't seen one like that before. And it's a double one. It's a double one, but it's kind of weird. Okay, guys, we're here with uh, Carla, and she's going to show us how we prepare the mushrooms before we fry them. So, what are you doing there, Carla? Well, first I have an egg, farm fresh from his sister. One egg? Yep, we're going to break that in the bowl. Notice that technique. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> we're going to mix that up. Yeah. With a, quite a bit of milk. A lot more milk than egg. We okay. have quite a few to fry, so we need to make it go away. Okay. Alright, so we have our egg wash. And now we're going to get our flour ready. Alrighty. The only thing we really do to our flour is I add some salt and pepper. And then when we finish it, we'll top it off with a little bit too. And this is to taste. Really, the salt you put on after you fry them is really what you're going to taste. Just makes me feel better to season it up a little bit. Well, yeah. <laughs> you got to have salt and pepper on everything. I know. Fresh ground always tastes so much better. It is better. I know. We had some of that already ground stuff, and it was not very flavorful. All right. All right. That looks good to me. I'm going to get a little spoon, but we'll go ahead and throw some in there. I just go ahead and throw a bunch in there. Okay. Give them a little toss. They don't have to soak or anything. They're still nice and moist. Now, if they dried out a little bit, I would recommend soaking them in some water for maybe an hour just to get them rehydrated. But these were fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just give them a nice, even coating. We used to double bread them, and we found out we liked them a lot better this way. Yeah, we like them lightly breaded. Yeah, it was a lot lighter tasting, plus they um, didn't soak up as much oil this way. So then we just lay them on some wax paper, and really this serves two purposes. One, it's easy to peel them off of there if they get a little sticky, and two, makes cleanup so much easier. It's important to have easy cleanup. I know it is. Yeah. Because preparing the mushrooms, cleaning them, sometimes is a little time consuming. Like it's already 8.20 and we haven't had dinner yet, so. Oh, that's okay. That'll be worth the wait. We do everything late at the farm. Yeah, that's true. And you can and let these set a while if you want. I mean, if you want to do them ahead of time and then let them set here, they, it won't hurt a thing. But you can also put them right in after you get them. Ready. Yeah. I think they're better when they set and kind of firm up a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, that one is. yeah, I'm sure you picked that one. I probably did. Yeah, yeah. Well, although it's big, you might have actually seen that one. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be uh, really <laughs> sticking out before I can see them. So, all right, then uh, what we'll do is we'll get back with you when we're dropping them in the fryer. So, uh, thanks for watching our videos.
We've moved the mushrooms over here close to the fryer so they can go from here into the fryer, no problem. I try to find the larger ones first and put them in the, the grease and then start uh, adding medium ones and small ones. And then by the time the large ones are done, the small ones are done too. So it kind of times them out right. If you started putting the small ones in first and then uh, those start cooking, by the time you get your, uh, your pot filled, or you start adding large mushrooms, um, you'll overcook those small ones. So start with your large mushrooms first and uh, load them in there and then follow up with your small ones to kind of take up all the little gaps. All right guys, I'm gonna start with the large ones first. And uh, this fryer holds a lot and so you just keep throwing them large ones in there. Look at that one. Nice. And then I'm going to start putting some uh, medium ones in to kind of fill up the gaps in between the large ones. So ever so often I'll just kind of agitate them a little bit. Is that a like good word? Like he does me sometimes. Yeah. No, actually, he's a pretty good hubby. Well. 30 years, and I'm not tired of him yet. Well, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'll get back with you when I take them out. All right, guys. What we've got prepared here is just a, a plate, and I've taken a half a paper towel, folded it in half, and then a full paper towel, and put over that. And come over here, I'll... These mushrooms have been in here about five minutes, and Carla likes her mushrooms nice and crispy. I do. Where I like mine just just golden brown. I always think hers is too well done. But we also differ on what kind of KFC chicken we like That's because right. I like extra crispy on that too. But uh, anyway, we'll put that. Take these out, which are actually overcooked for me but she likes them crispy but what I'll do on the last batch is I'll make them the way I like it and then those will be mine and then we uh, while they're still hot is we just lightly salt them like that and set them to the side get ready for our next batch to go in right beside them okay guys I've got a batch here like I like, and you'll see they're just, just golden brown. I want to show you the difference in color. So this is the way I like them, this is the way Carla likes them. So I just wanted to show you that. You know, you can just experiment. If you've never had them before, you may not know how well you want them cooked. And uh, it's the same way she likes her fish. She likes her fish really crispy. Hey guys, what's good about frying the mushrooms is you have to constantly taste them to make sure they're, you know, good. So that one's pretty good. I mean, well, that one might be marginal. Let me see. Nope, that one's good too. Hush up.